Uh, Liz has the body of Shrek, the face of a Waffle House employee, and the voice of Hulk Hogan. You want some pancakes with that, brother? Good one. I just think it's funny you're wearing a Nike t-shirt. Sleep apnea is not a sport. But <laughs> uh, well, you don't want... <laughs> yeah, you're sorry, go ahead. Uh, Melvin has kids with a Puerto Rican woman, so they are mixed with heart disease and high blood pressure. <laughs> but you built like an NFL player from the waist up. What you mean, high blood pressure? You look like the black Michelin man. <laughs> you look like the white Michelin man, the fuck? <laughs> Uh, Melvin is the personality hire in his own marriage. Hmm. You, you're right. Affirmative action is fuck. <laughs> uh, not sure if y'all know this, but Liz is one of the thousands of Americans that suffer from a disorder called trailer park mom face. <laughs> Side effects include a love of Bud Light, Marble Reds, and a lifelong type fight with type 2 diabetes. <laughs> you look like you pissed in a Gatorade bottle because you're too lazy to go to the bathroom. <laughs> No. But, but, all right, my turn. You, I will say you do have a beautiful smile. Your teeth are so straight and white. They look like they're about to buy out Patagonia. <laughs> if, they, if they that straight and white, why can't they own me? <laughs> the combined investigative power of the FBI, CIA, and KGB could not tell you where Liz's neck starts and her chin ends. <laughs> Which is so funny, because I was about to ask you, uh, do your chin and your titties wear the same cup size? <laughs> I don't know, do yours? They clearly don't. <laughs> no, my titties are bigger. Uh, are we so, seeing the same titties? Yo, your, your Puerto Rican wife is so dumb, she married you for an American citizenship. Wait, wouldn't you be the dumb one for thinking that Puerto Rico wasn't in America? No, your, your wife would be the dumb one. Uh, so what do the Bermuda Triangle and Liz's vagina have in common? Ooh. Niggas never go near them, and for the white people that do go near them, they're never seen again. <laughs> you look like when you go to your barber, you look for the, you ask for the struggling Super Saiyan haircut. <laughs> you, like when you, you look like when you go to your barber, you ask him throughout to dinner. I don't go to a barber, I'm a barber. <laughs> you look like what dreads smell like. <laughs> You look like what pancake batter looks like. <laughs> More of a law girl myself. You look like your taste in women is male anime characters. You look like your taste in men is just turkeys from Jewel. <laughs> yeah, butterball me, baby. <laughs> All right, that you got one more. I got one. I got one He's more. He's got one more. Let's yeah. keep going. Fuck it. Uh... <laughs> Liz may have the rest of y'all fooled, thinking that she's just a normal white woman, but she don't got me fooled. She's clearly just a jar of mayo possessed by Rosie O'Donnell. That's me. <laughs> no, all right, give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You've been on the show a few times, like three, maybe, I think three times now? Uh, this one is two, but it'll be three next week. Two, it's two, second time. This is your first time roast battling? Give it up for Liz, everybody. I love that. It did set race relations back quite a way, but I did think it was worth it. It was great. That was very fun. Uh, first thoughts from Brittany. What did you think about this battle? Uh, great battle. Great job, guys. You do look like two people I would see on Jerry Springer fighting over custody of a kid. <laughs> Melvin, <laughs> insane of you to open up with a Waffle House joke like you don't eat there four times a week. <laughs> and Liz, you look like my grandmother's couch, but I do have to give it to Liz. Your rebuttal game was strong as fuck, so it's going on. Liz, get yeah. your vote. Hell yeah. Jim, I mean, that was great. I think I want to see round two of this. You know what I mean? Like, this is awesome. Probably in divorce court, if we're being honest. <laughs> uh, but we'll see it someday. Uh, great jokes by both of them. Uh, at the very, I really loved the uh, pancake batter joke by Melvin that got me. It was a very quick rebuttal. I'm going with Melvin for that one. Hell yeah, great Melvin festival. gets a vote contested. One and one. Max. Uh, this is my favorite battle of the night. This was super fun, yeah. Woo! Felt like, uh, like a lunch lady union fight or something like that. <laughs> You both look like at some point in your life you've dated a different version of the other person on stage. I definitely have. <laughs> I had a feeling, Melvin. Uh, 
Super fun battle. I think the sleep apnea, Gatorade bottle, and the chin, like, titty cup thing. I think I'd give it to Liz, but very super fun battle. Yeah. Two for Liz. It comes down to you, Stephanie. Yeah, I, I thought you guys were going to fall in love and make out at the end of that. That was crazy. <laughs> That was, it got a little hot, <laughs> that was fun. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm giving it to Liz, you had those three jokes that Max just listed, the same, he same deal here. I thought they were so funny, so quick-witted. Great job to the both of you, but Liz, yes. Liz gets the victory on her first roast battle, and you can see Melvin next week. Get out of here, you scamps. Dude. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.